EndNote is a reference manager that helps you to save time formatting citations so you can focus on your research. In this quick video, I am going to show you how to download and install EndNote software for free. EndNote is an amazing software that is used by researchers all over the world to organize and manage their research. It has helped lots of researchers save a ton of time and making the task of referencing super easy. In this video, we are going to quickly cover the three ways in which you can buy EndNote, the two ways in which you can get EndNote for free, how to download um, EndNote, how to install and launch EndNote, and lots more. Now, if this sounds good to you, let's do this, shall we? But before we proceed, just a quick disclaimer here. This video is not sponsored and I don't have any relationship with Clarivate Analytics or EndNote. Now, unfortunately, EndNote is not a free software as you will have to pay to use it, okay? And it is not cheap as well as you have to cough out a whooping sum of money to buy it, okay? But you know me, right? I like free stuff. I just like free stuff. So as of the time of making this video, the latest version of EndNote is EndNote 20. Okay, now how do you buy EndNote? There are three ways in which you can buy um, EndNote 20. First is as someone who has an older version and wants to upgrade to the latest version. So you buy the upgrade and this is about $100, all right? Second is as someone who is buying um, the software for the first time. So you have to get a full license, all right? And uh, you have to cover out a whooping sum of $250, all right? And lastly, if you're lucky and you're a good student, then you can buy the student version, which is about $100. Uh, $15. However, the folks at Clarivate Analytics were magnanimous enough to allow researchers to test the full version of the software for one month, one full month free. Okay, ain't that great? So how do you get this software for free? Now, there are two ways in which you can download and install the trial version of EndNote. The first way is by going through the EndNote website. All right. And the other way is by using a third party uh, website. Now, the problem here is I usually don't like to support third-party websites because they may carry potentially dangerous files that can harm your computer, all right? But so why am I now talking about the third-party uh, website? Well, you will have to wait to see the reason in a moment. Also, guys, please stay away from pirated software. Stay away from pirated software, okay? Because these companies spend a lot of money to make and constantly update their software. So please, if you don't have money to buy it, then don't use it, all right? Um, you might say this is harsh because living in a developing country, things are harsh, I understand, all right? Uh, but that's just the reality. And if you do it, it will come back to haunt you. I repeat, it will come back to haunt you. I can tell you that for free. All right. Besides, you know, it's illegal, right? OK, now instead you can look for free reference managers that you can use. And there are some pretty decent free reference managers out there like Zotero. All right. Refman, Mendeley and so many others. All right. So just check the link in the description of this video um, for you to see all the different options that you have. So let's just go to the EndNote website by searching um, EndNote on Google and then click on the first link. All right, this will take you to the EndNote um, webpage. You can see all the nice features that EndNote has, right? And we will come and see these two buttons, all right? Click on the one that says, try EndNote 20 for free. And so we can try it for free for 30 days. Uh, but before we are given permission to download the installer, we need to complete a form, all right? And by completing the form, it will mean making a commitment with your debit card, all right? So now you see why I'm talking about third party website, right? All right. Uh, then now we have the form, okay, fill your details and then press next and then you can see it's just zero dollar, right? But then you will need to put in your card details, <laughs> all right? So I'll just put in my card details. I know some of you are afraid of cards. All right, then click next, okay? You will see a summary of your purchase and you can see zero dollars, right? Written in bold and we'll just click on buy now, right? Wrong, not so fast. Look at this small writing over there. Don't make the mistake of falling for this. Please note what they are writing here. They are saying this is a monthly subscription product. After 30 days, a monthly fee of how much? How much? $268 is due. All right. So you can use this product for 30 days, but after then by clicking now, they will automatically remove the money from your account after 30 days. Unless if you cancel the subscription before the time. All right. I'm sure you know. I, I'm sure you are thinking what I'm thinking now. All right. So note this and then we click on buy now and you have your order. Look at the summary. Now listen very carefully. You should already have a confirmation email and that confirmation email is important because that is where you can easily access your account and cancel your subscription anytime. Or uh, if you don't like the software after 30 days, you can cancel it. Then you have the products. 
Now, if you are a Windows or a Mac user, just choose appropriately, all right, and download. So I will just download the Windows one and we are set for installation. Okie dokie, Adichoki. Now you see all the stress we went through just to get the file for download. We've not even installed it yet, all right? So let me show you an easier way to get this file, all right? Just go to Google um, search engine and search for EndNote download 2022 file horse, all right? You will see this site, all right? And you'll see the latest version of the software you want to download. It's EndNote X20.4.1, all right? Now go where it says old versions. Select EndNote X20.4.1 from the download list, all right? And then click on download and start the download on the next page. So simple, all right? And you are good to go, easy peasy, all right? No need for any credit card information, no need for filling out forms, no need for anything, all right? Okie dokie, add a chokey. Now that we have the file downloaded, let's just install it. And it's super easy to install, all right? Just click on the installer file that we have downloaded and we see the welcome screen. Now, select the second um, option since we don't have a product key and we want the 30 day free trial, all right? Then we go to next, all right? Please read and accept the agreement. Read, please. And use the typical installation. If you don't want to change the destination where your installation files will stay, uh, then you can leave it. Otherwise, just click next and then click next to begin the installation. Allow the installer to do his thing, okay? And then click on finish. Easy peasy stuff, all right? Now let's just launch EndNote and see how it looks, all right? You'll be greeted by this beautiful splash screen and you will see a reminder, <laughs> all right? Telling you that you have 30 days left. You've just installed it, but you have 30 days left, okay? You will see that this is a fully functional EndNote and after 30 days, you will have limited functionality, all right? So you will then see this pop-up that tells you of your 30 days again, just reminding you, okay? Uh, but this time you have an offer to get a discounted price at the campus bookstores or other software vendors. You can check that out, okay? But just say no here. And then launching it for the first time, you have these two options, okay? Open an existing library. If you have had EndNote before and you wanted to just transfer everything to this new installation, maybe like a new computer, or just create a new library. Uh, this is for people who are just starting from the scratch, okay? Maybe like me and you, all right? So, and when we talk about the library, it's just a collection of all your materials, PDFs, references, all the things that you have in the EndNote. So let's just give it a name or leave the default name and then hit on save and boom, okay? You have your EndNote software installed, a library set up and ready to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how easy it is to download, install, and set up EndNote for use for 30 days and for free, okay? Now, let me know in the comment section which method you prefer to use in downloading the installer, all right? Now, if you have gained value in this video and you want to support my efforts in creating more awesome content like this, kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content like this. In my next video, God willing, I am going to show you how to use EndNote for referencing in just 15 minutes. But until then, peace. Answer.